the gun in it. I'm gonna shoot me, he's gonna shoot me. I live in Salford, mate, it doesn't matter. I can get used to it. It was a brass cartridge. Something had been discharged from it. Whether it was just the powder, which would be enough. Pointed close up in pistol form would leak powder burns and would be enough to split the skin. I've seen two people with guns today. Another lad pulled the gun out as well. This lad went, pulled the gun out like that, went, go on then, shoot me, shoot me, and he put it away. I went, go on then, if you've got a gun, use it. And he just didn't use it at all. So I went, go on, use it. You've got a gun to use it, so we'll use it. And he didn't use it and just got off. After just 15 minutes, the River Caves ride is back in business. But now Keith's been called to another breakdown. This time, it's the monorail. It doesn't happen when Jim's here. <laughs> It'll all be my fault. I've got some good news and some bad news. The good news is it's not this train that's broken down. Bad news is it's the other train that's broken down, so you can't go any further. Sorry about this, folks. I'm beginning to think it's not my day. And I, I'll tell Jim all about it and say, get away. He won't believe it. The police have turned up to investigate the shooting. They're searching the area where the gun was fired to see if the weapon has been dumped. What are you doing? You're going? Come on, Raj, talk to me. Come on. The four individuals in the security office are pressing to leave. Um, that's a bit, me a little bit more suspicious. It's a waste of time sitting in there. That's what I mean. Because you're not going to stay around. We see him, we'll get the shit out of him, then bring him back in. The engineers are now on their way to the big one, which has come to an emergency stop 235 feet up. Keith has to wait for the computer to run through all its safety checks before the ride can restart. Probably about two minutes all said and done. But it seems like an eternity, doesn't it? Especially for the passengers left hanging over the precipice. The police inspector is not convinced by the boy's story and has ordered a body search. Five to base. The bottle's going. What's the situation, Paul, please? Can I say clear and okay? Copy, thank you. Thanks, base. Five out. It's cleared, but the last one to clear is always the one on the pull-up, and that's what I'm looking at, because we don't want that to go till we've made sure that the other trains are safe, do we? Because once it's gone over that hill, it belongs to Isaac Newton. The owner of the Pleasure Beach, Geoffrey Thompson, is looking forward to a visit from Baroness Thatcher. He wants children on hand for a photo call, right. but the local press are asking awkward questions. Uh, yes, I think I believe there's been some criticism in the local schools about us opening the park during term time and it's almost attracting kids away from school. But um, if, if that has been said, all I would say in answer was that if someone as famous as Baroness Thatcher comes to the town, it's an honour for the town. And I think, quite honestly, it's part of a child's upbringing to see the famous people of the 20th century while they're young. And if, you, if the headmaster wants to deny them that privilege, I think he's de denying them part of the essence of Great Britain. Lady Thatcher will visit Frontierland in Morecambe, Geoffrey's second park. It's normally closed at this time of year, but they'll open it specially for such a big occasion. The Baroness will be greeted by the park mascot, Frontier Fred. Public Relations Director Helen O'Neill and her assistant Sharon meet to discuss the Iron Lady's requirements. That was Elizabeth, Lady T's press Lady secretary. Lady T's press secretary. She's adamant mm. that she must not be photographed or filmed walking into the Crazy Horse Saloon. Well, I think that might have something to do with the fact it's called well, the, the Crazy, Crazy Horse, Horse Saloon. Saloon. Right, yeah. OK. I mean, why did we choose the Crazy Horse Saloon? I actually room? said to her, we cannot change the venue, Elizabeth. Yes. Because yes. there's God knows how many thousands of pounds worth of carpet been laid for this. <laughs> right, yes, oh yes. <laughs> Although we're concerned about what does Frontier Fred look like. Is Lady Thatcher, she's quite small, isn't she? I don't know, I can't Because remember. she said, is this a great big thing that would make everybody else look ridiculous? Yes. All right. And so what, anyway. The body search revealed nothing and the boys were allowed to go home. The police failed to recover a weapon and the case was closed.
It's been a hectic day. Despite everything, Keith's kept the rides operating flat out. When we get a day like today, when we've, we've been at it for so long and we've still got a lot of customers on the park, we start thinking records. Now, it's early days yet, and I don't want to spoil anything or put the mockers anything, but I can feel it that we're going to do something today. I think today is the day that we're going to beat the best day we had last year. There's a fracas at the north gate, and security are holding the suspect. He's gone into the restaurant there. He's obviously uh, he's on something. We don't know what it is. Ah! Shut up, son. They were being very offensive in the bar, and they were, very, they were politely asked to leave, and they just went haywire. Um, threw a punch at me, and then he just went mad. You know, he was throwing tables and chairs, trays. He was going, just going for little kids. Look, what are they doing that right. for? Why are they doing that? Why are they striking them off? The suspect's brother is protesting. He claims there's been some unnecessary rough stuff. They don't struggle with exactly as they are. Do you understand that? They want to call lock. They'll not get tighter. They will cause you any more pain unless you struggle. Do you understand that? For Keith to break the record, the rides must be kept going at full tilt. But on the Grand Prix, some young people have been taking it easy. You're taking too long. Let him go. You come on. Hey, get him going. Whatever you do, they'll always join up again, so just let them go about ten yards. Go on, off you go. You had the whole ride stop there. Right. Keep going! Keep going, come on! Oh, come on, I'll bash you! I'll bash your head in! Come on, keep going! They're very hard to press the accelerators, and the smaller children, the, the legs get tired, and they... That's why they keep stopping. What's wrong with that? Well, it's stopping the ride. Got to keep going. It's uh, got to keep going. You sound like JR. Well, he taught me. Magic! Security have moved the suspect into a storeroom. His brother and mates are getting agitated. You're not shooting his door, leave him. You're not taking my brother in that room and leaving him on his own with you, Ross. Right, listen, who's with him? I don't touch him. That's my brother, please. I don't touch him. Look at him again, look at him. Okay, please. Brutality by the police. Don't be there. Do you know? I'm there. Do you know? Do you know? Right, just move away and you'll be OK. All right, just move away. It's your first time in and you walk last morning. Right, everyone, shut up a minute. Keep it going. Right, everyone, right, oi. Everyone, shut up a minute. Oi, 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 big mouth, come here. Thank you. Just him, looking in his pockets. Security guard Bill Mullin decides to let the brother in, just to reassure him. Ian, Mark, that's all. So light, yes? Yes. Can you go back out now? Yes, we've seen you, brother. I just don't want you to sustain any more injuries. You can do your job, you know what I mean? If you sit nice and calm, yeah, lean against me, everything's going to be sweet, mate. All right? We don't have a fiver. What's that, buddy? It's time to f run off. I just have to keep going and keep going and keep going, and then somebody will blow a whistle and say, you've done it. I waited to, I waited to hear that whistle. It might not be till 2 o'clock in the morning. JR will be back next weekend, so whatever I can set him this weekend, I want to give him a real toughie, because he'll bust a gut next week to beat this week. The police take the suspect away. But his brother's still not a happy man. Saying, what are you hanging around here for now? Your brother's because gone. Because I'll bring the black ball. I'm told to stay here. Just He's thrown out the black ball. No, 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 no. Well, I don't think we... Eventually, the suspect was arrested and charged with public order offences. <laughs> the final whistle goes, and Keith is called to the boardroom. <laughs> well, congratulations, everyone, on the best day ever. Thank you very much. Cheers. Cheers. The day's takings are over half a million pounds.
Oh, how did you do that? I've been on duty now for the busiest day in the history of Blackpool Pleasure Beach. JR can't say that, can he? Cheers. It's Jeffrey's big day. Lady Thatcher is on her way and he's chartered a helicopter to run him up the coast to Morecambe. Jeffrey did well during the Thatcher years. He expanded his multi-million pound empire by buying two more amusement parks in Morecambe and Southport. The Baroness has agreed to visit Frontierland to help bolster beleaguered Tory support in the area. She certainly made England, uh, Britain what it is today and we're very pleased she is visiting us. I'm fairly proud too. She's been to see us in Blackpool a time or two when she was Prime Minister, uh, but she's never been to Frontierland. Security make final checks before the Baroness descends. While Frontier Fred is on standby, Geoffrey and Mrs Thatcher's press secretary discuss photo opportunities. Picture of with people rather than us, really. Got children sort of thing, yeah? yeah, Keith Roach and the local Conservative ladies are bringing all their grandchildren. Super, super. Baroness Thatcher's bodyguards are on the lookout, but it's Geoffrey who notices a hitch. Oh dear, oh dear, the belt seems to be a bit wonky though. We can't have Frontier Fred's pants coming down. Not very good for political visit, I don't think, really, one way or another. Back in Blackpool, there's a capacity crowd yet again, and Keith's record is up for grabs. His boss, JR, has returned. He's had a worrying time. I had to go away. My, my eldest son and his wife work in Brunei for part that the Sultan of Brunei has built. And, um, just had a little boy, my third grandson, and he got taken very ill in three weeks. So I had to fly out, and uh, hopefully everything's going to be okay. I'm hoping. Um, and now I'm back, and uh, we're going to go for a record day today. But the day has got off to a bad start. The big ones playing up, and all three trains have come to a halt. the base. I'm going to have to pay out the big one. Starting now, we're going to evacuate the trains first, OK? I'm shutting it down until you can cure that fault, OK? There are 650 paid-up punters in the queue. Not only must JR return their tickets, but it's policy to offer a complimentary ride as well. Complete and utter total disaster for me, yes. It's not just the fact I'm paying out, but I'm losing what's coming in. And uh, if it is this part that I think it is, and we've got to run at least half a dozen times with empty trains to make sure that it's right. So all, all in all, we're probably going to do in about an hour, if we're lucky. When the Iron Lady turns up, she fails to recognise her host. Uh, Mr. Mr Thompson, can I introduce you? Uh, Mr. Mr Thompson. Very nice to meet you again. Very nice Can't indeed. How have you been around your platform? You have indeed. Yes, you have on yes. two occasions. Um, yes, it, I think it's a photo opportunity here, possibly. Yes, and, um, right here next to front of all right. Okay. Well, what do you think of Morecambe at the moment? Well, I like it very much. At the big one, the engineers still haven't solved the problem. You stand here and wait. And they know you're here then, so they work a bit quicker. They know I'm not a very happy man when I have to wait too long. As you know, he's trying to beat last Saturdays. I'm not trying to beat last Saturday, I'm just trying to beat the record. That's all it is. She doesn't want to be filmed going into the crazy horse. Lucy, out front here, Fred wants to wave goodbye. <laughs> bye bye. Despite the early setback, JR is playing a blinder. And by early evening, the park is back on track for a record breaking day. But the bigger the crowds, the more work there is for security. 
Bill Mullins been called down to the promenade by one of the shop managers. Shoplifter. I suspected shoplifter. What's he taking? A squirrel. Let's have a look. Oh, that's going to be odd, isn't it? Yeah. Is that it? That's right, I'm arrested for your suspicion of shoplifting, all right? Well, I, I never shoplifted that, mate. Don't say that a minute. It's me. It's me in my house. All right, fair enough. I'll take you in my house and show you them. OK. But right now, you're under arrest for shoplifting, OK? For what? What have I shoplifted? That squirrel thing. OK, can you just give me your arm, please? Give you another one. OK. Go on, then, mate. Before and we know he's a shoplifter. And I was stood by uh, a shelving unit watching the gentleman. I saw him pick it up and go out of the shop and I called for stand to radio for security. That wee squirrel, right? You know that wee squirrel? I found the <laughs> thing and the grinders was walking past the shop. Fair enough. We'll sort that out when we get back here, alright? Yeah, no problem, mate. <laughs> The all-season ice rink is the park's latest attraction. Suddenly, disaster strikes. We've um, lost all the power on South Park. All the rides are down. Um, nobody's stuck anywhere, thank God. So, just need to get down there now with the electricians and see if we can sort out the problem and get the power back on. As you can see, it's all now in darkness. Bert, Wonder Base, get off the radio, Bert, I need it. Keep it closed for the time being. We've got a dead short somewhere, it's tripping all the system out. And the rides are going down, I'm paying out money. And I don't like it. Bill's finally got the shoplifter banged up in the park's cells. Certainly. His supervisor is on to the shop manager. It's Bert, security. I've been on to the police. Right? Very, very busy uptown. They can't make it a priority at the moment. They'll attend when they can. I believe the retail value of this is two pounds something, isn't it? Three pounds. What if the person's willing to uh, reimburse? Uh-huh. OK. We'll wait for them then. Bye. For awaiting the police. So I'll just log it all up in the book now. The shop manager insists on pressing charges. <laughs> The log number, always important, gentlemen, the log number. Hello. Three, four, two. Hello. Stroke 97. Can I speak to somebody? Right. What's the crack here? I've told you before, you were arrested. For what? For shoplifting. What did I steal? I'm not prepared to discuss it anymore with you. No, what did, what did I steal? I await the police's pleasure. Do you know David Butcher? I don't. Do you know Messi Walsh? No. Do you know Lee Humphrey? No. You'll be meeting them next week, mate, trust me. <laughs> you are setting me up, right? You're setting the wrong guy up. The power's still down on the South Park, so the only ride taking money is the diesel-powered Princess Royal. At the substation, the engineers are still baffled. I've got when I put the top decks on and your power is draining off it, I've got a problem. Excuse me, gentlemen. First of all, can I apologise because I'm getting a bit scruffy? Yeah, we'll take that into consideration. Well, how would you feel, right, if you were accused of stealing? I don't know. I've never been accused of stealing. Security. That's this one, 1,600 amp. What can be drawn in anything extra? It's the only thing that's different from last night is the ice plant. I mean, I'll shut it down if you want. Yeah. yeah, you want me to? Well, it might prove something tonight. Okay. I'll beach one to beach 60. David, shut down, will you? Close up. Shut it off. I've got a problem somewhere. It may be you drawing too much power. I don't know until tomorrow. I need to keep the rides open. JR thinks it must be the new ice rink that's overloading the system, and to test his theory, needs to shut it down. 
The police are now on hand to deal with the shoplifter, who's managed to pick up a couple of extra souvenirs. What's that for? Coming off the windows up there. That's, that's the air freshener, eh? So you just took that? No, well, it was, uh, one, one was up there, yeah. There should be another one as well somewhere. Yeah, there's one here. Right, because it's the theft as well. No, the theft is they mean for stealing, right? I might as well, I might as well get my money's worth, you know? Because I never stole that. After, I never stole that thing, mate. Honestly. Right. That's yours. Sit down. Let's move on. Put some transport. No problem, sir. Can I get a light for you, officer? There's no smoking in there. I keep telling you. Right. Can I get a light when I get back to the station? No, there's no smoking at the police station. All operation managers that are on rides, we've switched all the power off now. We're going to try back on. I'll let you know as the rides come back on. We're going to try the cable way first, Paul. Do you copy that? Pete, you should now have power for the cable way. I'm now about to switch the Space Invader on. Any radios in the vicinity of the revolution? Switching the power on now. Now switching power on for the whip. And one to all radios, all power should be now back on South Park. I started this morning at 7.30. It's only now 7 o'clock. I haven't done 12 hours yet. By the time we shut, it'll be about 18. And hopefully we won't have another stoppage now this end of the park. But I'm still confident we'll do it. So tell us all about it down when we get to the station, all right? The squirrel thief was arrested, escorted to Blackpool Police Station and eventually convicted of shoplifting. Hurry, hurry, hurry. The crowds are still pouring in and takings are high. The park's accountants monitor the cash on the hour, every hour. JR rings in for a progress report. Yeah. Is that up? On last week? Right. Okay, mate. Cheers. It's good news for JR. It's not yet a record, but he's well on course. We're going to do it. Will be the same or just above? Not last year, last week. Last week. We'll just be a bit up. Um, we'll just be a bit up above what you did. Welcome back. <laughs> Couldn't have done it without you. Of course you could. You're right there, mate. Fine, thank you. Hiya. Gonna go and sit somewhere safer in case a car no, comes along. There, Not you might be, but if a car comes along, you won't be. Yeah, if a car comes along, you'll go somewhere else, won't I? Well, I prefer it if you'd like go now. Yeah. What do you mean go now? I'm waiting for the coach. Bloody hell, fire. Listen, you just wanna go. Maybe I'm sit only gonna go over, over there and sit over in the yeah, same but if place. You want to sit, like, over there, with your back against the wall, at least I know a car's not going to come and run you over. When a car comes to park here, don't he's not going to see it. No, I damn worried. Um, that's what I want you to do. I'm buzzing now. I mean, the pressure's been on all day. We've had breakdowns, we've had electrical stoppages, we've had the South Park out. The adrenaline's it's there. We're right. We'll, I should go to one o'clock tonight, there's nobody on the park. <laughs> He hasn't beaten me yet. He's going to get to two o'clock and then put the clocks back an hour and have another hour. I know what he's going to do. But it, it is rather busy, isn't it? <laughs> You're picking on the wrong people. Why don't you go and sit, do something? What you should be doing? Because the next call we get is one where a car's knocked you over. And then you'll be saying to me, why did you let me sit there? <laughs> so we're preventing it. All right. You're pathetic. Do you really want the night in the cell? I don't want night in the cell, no. What are you going to rest me for? Drunk and disorderly. Breach, Breach of the, the peace. peace. I'll go out of the way. I'll go out of the way. Fine, that's okay. all of us. Do stop arguing and please do it. You lot of pillow, not me. I'll go out of the way. All Thank right. you. Good night. Good night, God bless. I thought you love people like that. Hey, Jim! Shut up. I win! I win! <laughs> Despite everything, sadly, this isn't going to be JR's day. I just had some news that we're not going to beat the figure, I think, of last week. Teeth record stands, that's fine. It'll still be a good day, don't get me wrong. 
Just that we won't be the record. That's unfortunate. But as I said before, we'll live to fight another day, won't we? Of course we will. We'll be back. Tell me what it's like, I think. Managing Manchester United. You know, you strive to be top of the league. You fight for it. You buy the players. We don't buy the players, but this place is top of the league. And it's my job to keep it there. That's what I like.